That was kind of a a clean music transition. It was almost the same note. Did you hear that? That was that was kind of neat. Anyway, welcome aboard. I am your wandering helmsman. Uh, today, uh, we're continuing with our Yakuza Kawami 2 playthrough. Um, I think I said it uh, in the last stream, but um, I have been playing a ton of this uh, off stream. Uh, basically, just trying to hammer out uh, a bunch of the side content that gets you towards that's all required for the platinum trophy uh, which basically requires you to do literally everything <laughs> like without exception there's you have to do absolutely everything you could possibly do in this game uh, to platinum metal it which is uh, it's like that for every Yakuza game and it's honestly a pain but uh, I swear to god I am going to platinum every damn Yakuza game at some point it's going to happen uh <laughs> It will happen. I, I swear to God. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna put my hat on today. Put the hat on. Show off the hat. Look at that hat. Look at that big old hat swishing my ears down. Look at that. Man, 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 man. <laughs> um. Oh man. I think I want to calip. I mean, it's, it's pretty mobile. It moves around quite a bit, but it's kind of hard to move around in my chair like this. Um. I feel like exaggerate my move my moves like i'm in a stage play um so i feel like i want to make it just a little bit more sensitive so i don't have to move as much for it to kind of move around um so um i don't know whatever <laughs> whatever um by the way uh human model is coming along pretty dang well actually uh, I've seen some, uh, a lot of the toggles and stuff like that, and it's looking good. You're going to love it, chat. Um, it's simple but effective, um, I feel like. Uh, but, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just get into Yakuza. I don't really have any announcements this time, so we're just going to go. We're going to go. Um, <clears throat> oh, man. I uh <laughs> I went to uh the store today and um something kind of clicked in me. I kind of realized it, it it was like a baffling thing that happened. Uh or not hmm, How do I phrase this? I was in the self checkout line and the person ahead of me was behaving like they had never tried a, a self-checkout line before. And I was just like, motherfucker. <laughs> How many years has self-checkout been like a normal thing in grocery stores and stuff? Like, oh, there's karaoke over there. Look at that. I'm going to do that karaoke. That blue sign at the bottom, is it says karaoke. You can probably tell because there's a music note on it too. That's also a giveaway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the, the person in front of me was like, had to call over the person to guide them through the the, the self checkout process, and I'm just like, it's like, I I I don't know. It, it's it's annoying to me when like, this is like normal technology that people should have figured out how to interact with by now. So like, seeing that is just like. You know, and it's like, of course, I, of course, I get stuck behind the one guy who, um, doesn't, still doesn't know how to do this. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my god. You ever notice that? How when you're, when you, when you have to, like, choose a line at a grocery store, or just check out lanes in general, you always, always, it, you always manage to, to, to pick the slowest fucking line every damn time. It's every damn time you pick a line, and, you're, and then, like, 30 seconds later, like, damn it, I should have moved into that line. I'd have been at the checkout thing already, but I'm stuck behind this asshole. Oh, God, I hate that. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Um, I've been playing the, the side mission. Here, let me show you. So, uh, look at my completion list. Look at this. I finished the minigame completion list. Holy shit, I finished this. 
I did everything at the arcade. I did all the karaoke. I did the UFO catcher. I've watched pornos. I, <laughs> I did the creepy voyeuristic photo shoots. Um, I did all the gambling. Poker, blackjack, koi koi, uchikabu, uh, shogi. Uh, which I admit I needed a guide to because it's like Japanese chess. And I am dog shit at chess. And that means I'm like extra smelly juicy dog shit at Shogi. Um, I did all of the batting cage shit. Um, I even grinded on the batting cage to make sure I got all the technique manuals I needed to 100% this game. I did all the darts stuff. I did the Mahjong, which was a fucking grind. But I did it. I fucking did it. Um, and I didn't even... I, I, I blew my, uh, my peerless tokens, which is like Basically, you auto-win the table, like, first turn. Um, it's a massive cheat, basically. And apparently, you're supposed to save them for, like, the hardest tables. I didn't do that. I blew my peerless load on the easy and medium tables without realizing it. Um, because I thought that there was, like, a way I could acquire more later on down the line. Nope. So, uh, when it comes to this win-all Mahjong tables, I did... The horror table and the two, like, tournament things, legit. I won these legit. Um, and holy shit, was I happy when that happened. Um, but yeah, I did all the Mahjong, I did all the golf, and I did all the the, 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 the cringy fucking piss, piss game. And then I did all, like I said, I did all the arcade stuff. And I fucking finished this minigame list. And if you look, too... I've got most of the... There's only two left in battle. Literally just grind points and spend them on skills. Um, adventure, I basically have done everything except a couple of the bars. Um, and I gotta... Oh, what's that? Oh, I just earned XP. So basically just keep playing the game. Um, and then these Haruka requests, which we'll unlock later in the story. Um... Up stories I've left there's like 20 or so of these left yeah about eh, 17 17 left um, and then there's a bit left for the two so this one uh, I, I I'm on the last tournament so I'm working my way towards the last tournament there and then the clan creator it's mostly just grinding the missions out basically is where I'm at here um, so that yeah, I'm like really close. I have to do some bouncer missions. I have to do I have to complete all of the bouncer missions to um to get the platinum. I did enough to get to get all the bouncer related stuff in the battle section, but right here, like twenty, but there's more than twenty missions that I have to do for one of the trophies. Um so yeah. Uh but the point is is that I basically have to continue the main story to, like, do the rest of the stuff. <laughs> um, now, part of this construction clan thing, this Majiba construction sub-story, I, I've, I've got, I think I only have, like, two or three more main missions left. But this guy... Hey, kitty, you saw it. I'm hungry. Want to take a lunch? We can grab Tenryu and Fujinami, too. Mm. He wants to take me to lunch with, like, his wrestler pals, because all these guys are like wrestlers in real life. So I'm gonna go to an awkward lunch with some wrestlers. <laughs> uh. May as well. <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist. You know this city pretty well, don't you? Got any favorite dives? Is it gonna be the place I take all the dates to? It is, isn't it? Oh, that's a different place. I think this is this Cafe Alps. I think this is Cafe Alps. I've never eaten in wow. a place. Ugh. It's nice if it in a while. I'm really digging whatever that smell is. Uh, same so here. Yeah. Good choice. Wow. Yeah, that's a good choice. That guy, he's famous for not being able to understand anything he says. He showed up on, um, uh-oh, what's a Europe? That's cool. <laughs> Such basic bitch answers. 
we go. They are native wild salmon with sea fairy caviar garden. That's what I'm getting. Hmm? Excellent choice. Oh, bad choice. You even know what that is? Doubt me? What, say that again? Yes, how can you tell me what it's called? I'm telling you, marinated wild salmon with sea fairy caviar garnish. You hear me that time? Still didn't catch that. It must be because you're deaf. Got it, right, Kiryu san? Oh. oh god. The first one. Marinated wild salmon with sea fairy caviar garnish. Exactly right, Kiryu san. How can I understand you? Comprehend with that garbage? The only insane thing here is you. Get your ears checked. Sorry, you guys got no right to accuse me of being hard to understand. It's <laughs> even making fun of it in the game. I can't understand half the shit that comes out of your mouths either. I don't know about that. Alright then, you. You can just note on that menu. <laughs> the fuck is this fucking conversation? They betrayed dishes that will touch everyone's hearts. You say that they can create a sort of appetizer. I hope to provide an experience of both taste and joy. You can make memories with someone you hold dear. Yeah? Hell no! I didn't catch a word of that! <laughs> I can't tell you how the chef feels either. Oh, that's because you like this fancy shit. Kitty said you understand, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Did you even repeat the last phrase? Oh, gosh. Exactly. Seriously? Yeah, like you speak, you talk shit about me. They all do sound that. They have to almost have the same voice. Don't let me in with these chuckle heads. Yeah, give it your best tongue twister day. Nail it, we'll drop the charges. Good choice, okay. I have to. Listen close now. <laughs> He's fucking mumbling. The fuck is he saying? <laughs> oh, bad choice. I don't know what the, what the fuck is a good choice. He can't even finish it. Shut up. This is pretty hard. Why don't you try it then, hot shot? Uh, good choice. Good to know. Fine then. <laughs> All I know is that tamago is egg. That's the only one word I know. <laughs> this is fucking funny. Shut up. Calm down, guys. It's safe for you to say to you, son. Alright. Excellent choice. Show you how it's done. This is what a tongue twister sounds like. Don't fucking show him. Here to you. <laughs> I heard every word. Snow beating, Kiryu-san. 
俺たちもまだまだのようだ。だからこのままじゃ終わらない。ああ、そうだな。とりあえず、今はちゃんと料理をしてもらな。すいません。あのマリノのなんとか。Well, all right. I kind of want to actually. What's going to take? What's available here? Put it on this. Charismatic Showdown. This. God. This might be the last mission, actually. Because those two guys. That's Chose. That's Chozo and his bald friend. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. You know what? Screw it. Let's try to just beat this. Go for it. By the time to face Muto in his game. Finally. Hello, hello, Majima Construction. The frosty welcome is appreciated. The guy finally shows his face. Has me back into a quarter of you. No, I wouldn't say that. Just thought it'd be easier to handle this myself. Right, Choto? Yeah. No more beating around the bush. I'm taking Kamarojo Hills with my own two hands. You can try all you like. I plan on it. When it comes to real estate, I'm the only genius in town. Oh look, he's striking that super cool pose. Let's go, Chodo. I'm gonna miss you, Fusa. God damn. Damn. God damn. That's like his cat's phrase. God damn. It's wild because I watched the downtown. Oh, what is it? The the downtown Batsu 24-hour Batsu show that they used to do every year. Um, there's like 20 episodes of it. They did it for like 20 years straight, starting in like 2003. Um, but uh, like uh, Chono makes regular appearances on that show. Um, as does the guy that they, they're all like, nobody can understand what the fuck you're saying. Because that's like his whole shtick, is that he mumbles everything and slurs his words so nobody can understand a fucking thing he says. Um, so seeing them, like knowing them from that show, knowing that they're actual re wrestlers and that's where their main thing is, and then seeing them in this game is really surreal. <laughs> it's really wild to see that. Freaking cool. Uh, let's see here. Come up here. There's that, and then there's this. Okay, you come down here. And Goral, you stay. You come down. Um, your gunner, go right up here. Then Goral, you're gonna be a kind of a rover. Let's do it that way. Okay, let's go. Are they? Oh, they, they are fighting down here. Oh god, get in there. Ow! Don't let him blow up the truck. Come on, get him. There you go. Calm down, Goro. Jesus. My boy's running wild. If this is a marathon too. If I get 14 waves, this is wave two. Get in there. Hey, okay, apparently they don't—they don't care. 
Get in there, Goro. There you go. Yeah, lay him out. Going from up here, too. Okay, we're totally fine down there. Good. Okay. Come on. Go. There you go. Get him! Get him! Get him! There you go. Alright, so far we are unscathed. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, Goro. Where's Goro? Let's get back down here. But Goro, I need your help down here. There you go. Uh oh. There you go. Get him. Uh, get that tornado. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, the three waves. Wave four. Oh, there's not too many people over here. We're pretty thin over here. I think he can handle it, though. Okay, they got that taken care of just fine. Get in there. Oh, come on. You gotta do better than that. There you go. Cool. That was a weak wave, I have to say. I'm not, like, OP or anything, either. Like, all the highest level any of my guys are is level 6 out of 10. So it's not like they're... I got, like, max level. Oh, this is bad. Hang on. Are they, are they fighting down here? Goro, get up here. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh. Oh, he had it. Okay. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Chono. And the, and the, and the, and the sweater gang. The hoodie gang. Okay. Who's hurt? Is anybody, like, hurt? Give him an upgrade. Oh, he's getting hurt. Uh, this. Get that does for you. And throw your defense on. Uh. You know, I, he's doing too much damage to you. Get back here. No, no, no. Get out of there. Get out of there, my friend. Come on. Ah! Get out of there. Okay. Goro. Front and center, my friend. Get in there. Whale on him. Go. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, a bunch of the barriers just busted up. They're gonna, they're gonna bear down much faster now. Okay, that's okay. Got this. Let me top off my boy here. Took a lot of damage from that Chozo fight. I don't think you're calling him Chozo. It's Cho No. What's happening down here? You okay? Oh, there's nothing happening down here. <laughs> there you go. Way to get in there. Lambs to the slaughter. Oh, there's more. Nice. That was a weak-ass wave. Right. All right, second half. Wave eight. Yeah, slaughter them like like the Spartans slaughtered the Persians.
Come on. Okay, let me top off my boy here. Uh, do we have enough down here? Doesn't look like they're they're not going for the bottom truck, so I think we're okay. Oh god, you're neglecting. Okay, cool. This guy's back up. Nice. Get in there. Are you gonna shoot somebody? What are you doing, buddy? Come on. Get off your ass and shoot somebody. Nice. Holy shit, that was beautiful. All right, we have ten. It's actually going very well. Oh, the other guy. Um, let's get these guys up here. These guys up. All hands on deck for the boss fight. Uh, someone's hurt. Yeah, okay. Go. And defense. Where's Goro? He's in the middle. Perfect. Hit him. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, heal him. Okay, that was it. that was easy. Up, oh, no barriers left. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four more waves. Just four more waves. At this point, I guess I'll win them all. Like, oh, there's that one too. Uh, I don't think they're gonna come for the van down there. And honestly, if they do, fine. Oh yeah, it's like a conveyor belt of death. Oh, get get these yellow guys. They literally shoot rockets at the fans. Oh, they're throwing grenades this time. Oh no. Uh, we need you guys up here. Get in there. Get in there, Doro. Beautiful. Okay. Three more waves. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Get down there. Oh god. Get down there now. Get down there now. God. Oh, I'm lucky. They didn't. They're not going for the. Wow. Why do they never go for the van down here? It's like wide open. Who's hurt? Someone, did someone hurt? No, everything's good. Eh, I'll pop this guy off. I was gonna say, you're like getting grenaded to death, motherfucker. You need to back off. It costs way too much to heal you now, too, so just chill out. Okay, two more waves. Oh, how much you want to... Oh, they're, they're going to go for that lower van. You just know they are. Okay. Here. Whoop. Down here. They're not! They never go for that lower van. Why? Uh oh. Well, if they're not going to go for that lower van, then. Nice. That was beautiful. Okay, that was easy. Wow. Last wave. We're, we're in tip top shape. Okay, there's two bosses. Small wave over there. Are they coming from down below too? Nope. Okay. I got one down there just to make sure. Uh oh, what am I? Oh no, I lost a guy! Uh. Oh my god. Wow, that snuck up on me. Uh, where's Goro? Get up here, Goro. Mm 
Get in there. There you go. Hit him with that tornado. Wow, that'd be shit. Uh, I got plenty. I'll heal him. Almost got him. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Got one. Got the other. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Uh. Okay. Majima. Nice. That's ranked it. 170. Playing Creator Victory. But was that the last mission? That's the question. This can't be. Ah. Hell yeah. We did it, Kitty Chan. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> nice going, Jets. <laughs> That guy. That's the guy who's famous for not being able to understand anything he says. And he he has shown up doing uh, guest spots on uh, on Downtown's 24-Hour Batsu. And the whole thing is just him mumbling nonsense in Japanese and nobody can understand him. It's fucking hilarious. You guys are really something. Yeah, we're at least more than nothing. Mr. President, are you all right? To recover. Bad news, man. We lost. We got decimated. Who do you send? Majima-san. It was a good fight. I can't remember the last time I got so pumped up by a brawl. It is time to make good on your promise. Muto Realty is going to abandon the Kamurocha Hills dream, right? Yeah. You made your case. The strongest have stalked their staked, stalked, staked their claim, and it sucks to give up, give it up. But the weak have to walk. That said, I've got a request. Mm -hmm. You want to join me? We'll listen, but no promises. Yeah, I think you let Mutual Realty help you guys out in an assist role. Uh huh? Hey, what? I know I've got no right to ask about all, after all the trouble we caused, but money aside, the Hills Project spoke to me. I love the city, boys. That's why I've been so aggressive about a plan that could shape our town's future. I wanted to be at the forefront of that future. Since that's not an option, I'll settle for a seat at the table. Yeah, it eventually becomes like this really nice park area with like fountains and shit. <laughs> I know I'm pushing my luck here, but I'm confident that what we can do will make up for the lost time in a heartbeat. What do you say? Yes, I hope. Much, Masan. You're awfully quiet. Eh? Did I already tell that? Tell you the company motto, Kitty Chan? Workers are welcome, earners are embraced, and lazy fucks get hunted down. Oh, damn, that's a damn good motto. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? I expect you to work hard to make up for being such a pain. We gotta build some fine ass hills. <laughs> Fine ass hills, hell yeah, Goro. I'm fucking there for it. I, I want to be at that fucking the red ribbon cutting ceremony to open whatever the fuck this turns into. It's a deal. Looking forward to hitting the ground running, President Mashaba. Looks like everything's settled now, Kitty Chad. I think he's trying with the goofy. Gosh. Yeah, we did it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, he heel turned. Uto. Get him. God damn. Think I can just shake hands and everything's settled? A happy ending for everybody? Well, that requires a massage parlor of a certain nature. <sighs> Jono. I like how his name sounds like Jono. Screw your damn law of the jungle. You're just gonna give up? That's how you end up a loser. You bastard. This even has like a wrestling plot. I love it. <laughs> like it's like a it's like a tag team 
uh, work, you know, challenging, uh, or like a stable, or, or I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a heel stable, and then the final boss is a tag team, and when the tag team loses, one turns on the other and goes full heel. <laughs> I gotta paint the whole world black. Black as night. You're still gonna fight? I don't give a shit about this city. If you're not gonna help, then we're done, bro. Right, boys? Huh? Oh, look at all these not giving a shitters. You fools! Boy. You with me, Surakawa? Yes. Surakawa, why? Because you're too damn bald. Sick of seeing my face in your forehead. President Buto, sorry to repay your kindness with betrayal, but I hate to say it, but he's the president of Muto Realty now. We put the plan in motion before this sorry fight happened. You were an idiot to trust us so implicitly. That's a big ass word to use, implicitly. <laughs> Muto, you're done. You're done so. No place to go, no money in the bank, no allies in your corner. Ooh. Oh, I beg to differ. Uh huh? Did you forget already? I just shook hands with my latest hire. Nobody talks shit about me or mine. I'm gonna crush every ambition rolling around in that thick head of yours. <laughs> That's so. Sounds like there's another battle on the horizon. Majima Construction, my color gangs are gonna paint over you. Enjoy the last of your days. Let's roll. <laughs> He's got this pouty face. I'm just a cue ball. That guy's really getting on my nerves. Thank you, much. Uh -huh. Keep your damn face. I pick fights with guys who cross me all the time. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That he does. It's fucking on, boys. The final battle is coming. I'm gonna stomp those damn sunglasses off his face. Oh, hell yeah. My construction is on the job. Now let's take a break. <laughs> All right, Muto is on the team now. Let's see here. Oh, I got a couple level sevens. Okay. I kind of wanted to stick to my current crew. If nothing but for the sake of simplicity. D. Two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I should only have sixes and sevens. Yep, okay, we're all set. A class with Chono. Oh, there's another protection one down here too for Sotenbori. That's eight waves, damn. Let's do that one first. Majima Kensetsu. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. He's on my team, what the fuck? <laughs> I just took out I just took that dude out to dinner. What the fuck? Uh they I know that they come from both sides. Honestly. Dude, it's just the one van. Where are my gunners? Let me just do this. Let me just switch him. Him. There's a gunner on each side. It should be good. Ooh, money. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Holy shit. Get that bag, Goro. Come on. There you go. Nice. Alright. Give me a whole bunch of free money. Alright, army guys. And red boys. 
調子だ Oh, it's so it's so pleasing to watch all the little tiny red bars just disappear. Yeah, I mean, could this be considered genocide? Because <laughs> I'm literally killing like hundreds of people. <laughs> okay, so far this is pretty easy. We got a couple of bosses coming in though, so we'll see. But I'm not too worried. Uh, let's throw defense and attack. All right, boss is already down on that on this end, and the other one's down too. That wasn't bad at all. Okay. Him off. Oh, come on. Just get in there. In there. There you go. Alright. Who next? Okay, a bunch of gunners. Okay, these guys could be dangerous, but right there, get him, get him! Don't look there. Way to stop that rocket. Uh, Goro. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Get it right in the middle of the pack here. And unleash that dragon twister. Beautiful. Go. Three more. Two more. Beautiful. All right, halfway home. <gasps> money, 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 money. No, no, get back here. Uh, you. I just want you to get to all this money. Come on, get the buddy. There you go. One more. One more. There you go. Okay. Okay, everybody's still pretty safe. Oh man, somebody got a hit off on the van. Oh. Get him, Goro. Get him. Get him. There you go. They just lightly bump into him. Okay. The hoodie gang. We're pretty easy. They are fast, but they are very weak. They're pretty much all like one hit kills. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Two more. Nice. Alright, two more waves. Hey Aspie. How are you, my friend? I'm doing I'm doing very well actually. I've been having a pretty good day. How about yourself? You doing alright? Going on over here. Okay. Get him. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. You do martial arts? What kind of martial arts do you do? I can geek out about martial arts. I've been doing martial arts for like almost a decade now, and I've a I actually um. I'm actually technically qualified to teach it. 
Um, I haven't done any teaching in a formal setting, though. Um, I wouldn't like to, but... I could geek out all day about martial arts, though. Aikido! Ooh, that's uh, Steven Seagal style. <laughs> that's interesting. That was a waste. That's okay. Okay. Come on, get him. There you go. Alright. Beautiful. Not sure which branch he practices, though. He probably practices the Bullshido branch. I have it the closest I've done to Aikido is, um, is Judo. I've done some Judo. Um, <clears throat> so I practice uh, Kali, which is like Filipino martial arts. Um, I've been doing it for about, gosh, seven-ish years, seven, eight years, something like that. A long time. Um, and the wrestling system in Kali is called Dumong. Uh, so that's like what I do. <laughs> And I know, I, and I know a, a, a bit of uh, jujitsu just because it's so common that um, my system doesn't teach jujitsu; it teaches how to beat jujitsu because it's so common. Um, so we have to kind of know some jujitsu to be able to defeat it, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I could uh, I could geek out. I actually uh, one of the streams that I want to do in the distant future is I want to do a stream uh, reacting to just nothing but bullshito videos. Um, <laughs> I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but because there, there's a lot of them out there, like there's like a whole subgenre of YouTube dedicated to like show, showing bullshito and and commenting about it. Um, that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, let's get Majma up to level 8. Then, got 120. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Not all of these guys are in my group, though. He's not in. guy with that guy he's he's roughing it up a lot so let's get him upgraded then let's do this as well cool okay i think this is the final mission i think I see some really, really silly things. One of the first things that comes to mind is the Detroit Urban Survival Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I he's there's so much content that he's put out. I could do a stream on just him. Um, he's one of he's just like a gateway, dude. There's it. There's I could probably if I really, really had the time and, and the time and availability to do it, I could probably make a whole channel channel settled, centered around. Uh, uh, making fun of Bullshito videos because they're just so common everywhere. Um, oh wow, is it just this? Is it just the crane? It is, it's just the crane. Okay, well, in that case, just fucking surround the crane. If my boys are strong, they, they, they know what the fuck they're doing. You know? They're gonna come from all sides though, and I know that because they put barriers down here. So they're gonna they're gonna be present everywhere. But and last but not least, right here. 
Lots of Wing Chun videos too. I mean... That's, that's the thing, like, people don't realize that, like, a lot of people, they practice martial arts, but they practice... There's three, like, genres of martial arts. There's three, like, wings of martial arts. One is uh, traditional. Traditional martial arts. So these are, like, your classic Wing Chun, uh, Shaolin, Kung Fu, uh, Karate, all these kind of classic art styles that are honestly... Kind of antiquated um the second the second wing would be um uh sport so that's where you get your judo your, your jiu-jitsu your mixed martial arts your boxing um that kind of stuff um wrestling these are all sports styles um hell like taekwondo is a sports style um and then, and then your your third branch is self defense, which is usually um, a bit more simplified. Uh, they are also very dirty because there's no rules. And it's, there's no rules, and there's no dignity in a street fight. Um, and they're usually like they're based around one style or another, but they mix in like little pieces of other styles as well to kind of round it out. Um, so like, and that and that's what I do. I do a self defense system of Kali Kali, which it's eighty five percent Kali, and then you know two or three percent percentage points of another half dozen little styles that are mixed in here and there, um, because both styles have at least something to offer in terms of usefulness. Um, so a good self defense system will borrow like, good elements um, of other systems that aren't in the traditional version of the system that it's based on. Um, so, like, one of the things that we grab from, in Kali, self-defense, is uh, uh, Krav Maga knee, knee strikes. Um, mainly, like, the um, like the grapple, the grapple knees, like the um, the, the, the clench knees. You get them in a clench and then you knee them, you know? Uh, Krav Maga has a really good version of that. Um, but Krav Maga is really shit at, like, everything else, especially when it comes to weapons. Um, so we don't do that, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, like... They're traditional because, you know, they to be traditional, they categorically have to kind of stay the, the way they were originally. So they kind of, by definition, can't really keep up with modern combat styles. Um, which is why when you... Which is why um, self-defense systems will... Um, guys are dying over here. Here we go. Um... Self-defense systems will update and they'll borrow from other systems, essentially to remain effective. Um, like self-defense systems, like good self-defense systems are always like studying like the latest and greatest from what's going on in the criminal world. Like, because one of the things that self-defense teaches you that like traditional martial arts and sports styles don't teach you is the criminal mind. Um, they don't teach that side of it. Um, whereas self-defense systems do. Um, and so, a good self-defense system is keeping up with that shit. And it's adapting. It's always adapting. Um, so... You torch them and everything. <laughs> the fact that is, is clearly napalm. <laughs> you know what's funny is that, um... I get into argument with, like... Like, gun people. Like, my dad included. Um, about... They're just like, I just pull out a gun and shoot him. And it's just like, well... We're probably gonna go to jail. Like... <laughs> um... There's this thing called force escalation. And, um... Generally, you want to kind of... 
you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you're being aggressed upon at, like, a level 4, you probably only want to go to, like, a level 5 or 6 in retaliation. But, like, a gun is, like, a 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're, if, if some drunkard starts wailing on you at a bar and you pull out your gun and shoot him, um, that's probably not going to go well for you in court. Because you'd be like, well, did you try to, like, just fight him off first? Um, and this is the thing. Yes, that's bullshit, in a way. You have the right to defend yourself by any means necessary. Um, but you can't rely on a jury to, to, to agree with you. You know what I mean? So there's a good chance that if you pull out a gun, you're going to go to jail. And if you, if you pull out a gun and shoot somebody with it, I mean, like, if you think Carl, Kyle Rittenhouse is, is normal, it's, it's, he got lucky. He got lucky that he got filmed because the film exonerated him. If there wasn't all that film and footage and stuff, he probably would have been convicted, which would have been bullshit. Um, but that's not normal because you got to remember that, like, if you get into a fight um, and there's eyewitnesses, almost guarantee you that somebody's going to pull out their cell phone and film you. Um, and when it comes to eyewitness accounts, um, the only things that people actually remember, and I've seen this, I've seen like case studies of this where they, um, they compare eyewitness, eyewitness accounts of the same fight. Um, the only thing that's consistent in those accountings is the very first thing that happened and the very last thing that happened. Everything that happens in between, nobody remembers. Um, so that's like another thing that we train to as well, actually. Um, but like, but I, I get into arguments with my dad all the time. I was like, you know what the 23 foot rule is? Um, if you don't know what the 23 foot rule is, um, I'd rather go to jail. I may be released from our escape the time in the street. <laughs> hey, uh, if you want to go down in a blaze of glory, be my guest, my friend. More power to you. Um, uh, but I, I mean, the better option is to get away with it. <laughs> you know, that's how you really win. Um, but, um, the 23 foot rule, it's actually Bruce Lee is the one who kind of figured this out. Um, he basically was like, okay, if he did an experiment where he started off like five feet from an opponent facing each other and the opponent has a knife, right? And, and the experiment was like, okay, I'm going to basically attack you from five feet. And you have to stab me. You have to, you have to get your weapon out of your pocket and stab me before I hit you, basically. Uh, and this can be done with a gun as well. And I've done, I've trained this a lot, by the way. Um, this also can be done with a gun. Like... Stand five feet away. Um, I'm going to attack you. Can you draw and, hit, and shoot me before I'm on top of you? Right? And every every time that's a fail, he would back up like two feet. And he backed up and backed up and backed up. And then it took 23 feet. 23 feet. Because he realized that Bruce Lee could like... And a normal person who's like charging at you... They can close 23 feet in about two to three seconds. It's not a lot of time. Um, and that's if you are facing your opponent, you know your opponent's going to attack you, and you're ready to draw your knife. If you're just walking down the street, and somebody's going to do that to you, they're not going to present themselves as an aggressor until they're right on top of you. Um, because that's what smart criminals do. Um, and you don't know that they're going to attack you. So, like, the chances are you're going to you're gonna get involved in CQC before you even have a chance to put your hand on your weapon and draw, whether it be a knife, a gun, or whatever. It's just unlikely to happen. Um, so, um, you need to learn how to fight in close quarters and create the distance necessary to draw your weapons. Um, and that's something that nobody freaking trains that. Nobody freaking trains that. I train that all the time. 
Um, because it's a very real thing. Um, I think that that's one of the biggest problems with martial arts is that they claim they claim to be like this is good for self defense. You know what I mean? But like they but they teach it in a bubble. They don't teach it in practical scenarios. They only teach it like on a mat in a controlled environment. You know, with only one opponent uh, and that kind of stuff. And it's like, no, that's just not. That's not real life. Like jujitsu, like I don't know, you, you do Aikido, so you probably know a little bit about jujitsu, but you learn how to fall, right? You don't fall flat on your back. You 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 blade yourself a bit and you fall on like the meat of your shoulder, and then you kind of and you you roll to dissipate the energy. So that way you don't, and then you also protect the back of your head, so that the back of your head when your back, the back when your back hits the hits the ground. You don't whiplash and smack the back of your head on the ground and knock yourself out. So you protect the back of your head and you roll from one shoulder to the other. That's you learn how to fall, right? Um, best defense is avoiding danger in the first place. Yeah, that's called situational awareness. <laughs> uh, if your gun is already out and pointed at them, however, well, then that makes you the aggressor. That's the problem there. <laughs> that makes you the aggressor. <laughs> um, but uh, this fight plus knife plus uh, let's say pocket pocket acid plus gun equals successful self defense. Yes, yes, I'm sure you will be able to to deploy that all of that with your adrenaline pumping and your you lose your ability to do fine motor movements. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> um. The colors offensive. Oh, that colors. Damn, bro, that's <laughs> the colors are coming. God damn. <laughs> oh man. Be trained. Uh, I got two hundred of these bad boys. Let's see here. Let's just get everybody. Let's start working on getting people to level seven. Um. No more sort for things. Okay. I don't know if this stream is just going to be nothing but Majima construction missions and talking about self defense. That might be the whole stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, pocket. A that's the thing. When it comes to carrying weapons, um, get a concealed carry permit. And, um,. Find yourself a low-profile gun that doesn't print. Uh, if you know what printing is, it basically means that, like, you can... That the the weapon is... You can... It, it creates, like, a profile inside your clothes, and so you can tell that you got a gun under... You know, inside your clothes. Uh, that's called printing. So you want to get a low-profile weapon. Just a little... You know... I, I have... Uh, I actually have James Bond's gun as my concealed carry. Um, it's a Walther PPQ. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but I ha I never wear it, though. Um, and... <clears throat> but you generally want to have things on you that aren't necessarily weapons. Like, you don't want to go around carrying, like, a fucking Crocodile Dundee machete knife on you, because... <laughs> if you're in a courtroom, they're going to be like, why the fuck do you have this? The only thing that that's used for is to kill people. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to look good in a courtroom. Um, so, you have to be strategic with what kind of weapons you carry. Um, I actually like carrying fruit knives, fruit cutting knives. They're really tiny knives, uh, but they are insanely sharp. I mean, like, crazy fucking sharp. Um, they're cheap. And they're disposable, so you can get rid of the weapon. Um, and they serve a purpose. They're, they're they're meant for a purpose besides hurting people, um, which makes it a good concealed carry weapon. Um, you don't want to carry like fancy knives and shit on you because the moment you use it on somebody, um, you're never going to see that knife again. You know. Um, I don't know. Have you considered the fact that the pocket acid is based? 
No, acid is by definition acidic, not basic. <laughs> Bro! Get him! Like, you stay right there. You protect that. Um, then you, back here. You, you, you run protection on that. Get in there. There you go. I love how, like, most of my team are, like, wrestlers in real life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, like I was saying before, it's like, oh, too many systems, like, one of the big things that, that's, that they do in Jiu-Jitsu, one of the ways they teach you, one of the things, the first things they teach you is called the break fall, um, which is, if you fall back on the ground, you basically splay your arms out, and you kind of land on your forearms, and what that does is it keeps your head from, it dissipates the energy, and it keeps your head from smacking against the ground, right? The problem with that is that that works really well in a in a in a ring, you know, which has got a cushion floor. It's a little bouncy, totally fine. But like, seriously, try that shit on asphalt, on gravel. Hell, try it on lumpy grass. Try it on a concrete sidewalk. That is a that is going to hurt like a motherfucker to slam your forearms down on the concrete if you're like let's say you're around six feet tall like a normal person like a normal man that means that your arms your forearms are you're going to splay your forearms out and you're basically going to break a five foot fall on your forearms on solid concrete or asphalt you know that is a horrible way to fall in a street fight you know so it's shit like that that kind of bugs me about all the, all these schools that are like, well, this it's great for self defense, and it's like, but you've only ever done it in a controlled environment with like comfy mats to cushion your fall. You never done it out in the street before, you know. Um, I don't know that that shit that that shit really irks me. The average male is five foot nine. That's close to six feet. I always forget that, that most men are under six feet tall. <laughs> we do something similar, you learn rolls as well as what we call high falls. Uh, when you land on your side using upper arm and thigh as well as the side of body, though ideally you can control your body. Yeah, exactly. The idea is that you, you blade yourself on the way down so that you kind of fall onto one of your sides. And then you roll the moment you touch the ground, and that that um, that dissipates the energy. And what it does is that if you just fall straight down, um, all of the force of the fall, all of the kinetic energy of the fall, uh, stops and reconverts into potential energy the moment you hit the ground. And that's why that's one of the reasons it freaking hurts. Um, but if you roll. You turn that kinetic energy into rotational energy. Um, you're redirecting the energy instead of cutting it off. And that really, really helps um, mitigate the impact. So. That's one of the, that's one of the most interesting things about martial arts is that if you do it, you kind of, you end up realizing that's like, huh. I'm actually learning a lot about, like, physiognomy and physiology and physics and all this other stuff. <laughs> um, like, one of the things that we do with Dumog, which is, like, the Kali wrestling style. Um, Dumog literally translates into push-pull. Um, and it's literally based around joint, joint manipulation. So, you basically have to control both sides of a joint. Whether that be an elbow, a shoulder, a wrist, whatever. A hip, your hips. Um, I think you do a push pull, and that manipulates the joint, the the body essentially. Um, but it's all like if you have an idea of the physiology and a basic understanding of physics and levers, you know that's all you're doing is you're just creating levers. 
and uh, with a, another person's body. Um, pretty cool, actually. They should do that more. They should teach physics in high school with a, a, a martial arts per um, framework. It'd make it a lot more interesting. <laughs> Where are you going over here, you Asian Michael Jackson look motherfucker? How am I doing health wise? Everybody's still fine. Come on, there you go. Next wave is gonna be tough though, because that's the halfway point wave. There's gonna be bosses in the next wave. Go. Like all the standing around. Funny. Okay, we got this. Up there. Don't want to hit it. There you go. Pass the gun shot to you at the dead side. <laughs> uh, same at Aikido. Lots of joint manipulation and using leverage. Uh, my sensei used to be a fitness trainer, so she goes into how the body works a lot. Ooh, you got a... You got a... a, a, a cute a female uh, instructor? That must be fun. That's a thing. That is... That is one of the perks of martial arts is that it, is that it requires a lot of, let's just say, um, hands-on interaction with other people. So if you got, like, some cute girls in the class, that's always a good time, you know? <laughs> Man, this motherfucking boss went right for the... He went right for the damn... Uh, cargo thing. Son of a bitch. There we go. Okay, we got him. Come on. Get him. Get him. Hit him. There we go. Where's your hammer? I don't know. Personally, I prefer a cute guy. Same thing. Same idea, Cordell. <laughs> And this is especially true in, wrest in, in wrestling uh, base classes where you're doing groundwork and stuff like that. Because uh, number one, groundwork is exhausting. It, it's, it's, it's so taxing on your stamina. Um, but it's like, it's like okay, uh, get into full mount with your partner. Which is literally like they lay down face up. And then you literally straddle their torso and squeeze their torso with your knees. It's like, yes, this is this is good. <laughs> oh, the fuckers are all spreading out. I don't like it. Still okay though. Get in there. Get him. Nice. Okay. Oh, you're gonna bonk me? <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how to set that up. I, I still don't know how to do that stuff. I haven't. I haven't had the time lately. Like I'm still doing prep work for that that uh, Sir Francis Drake uh, presentation. Um. And. Oh. Oh. God, I need more people down here. Get down here. I might lose this box, to be honest. Which is okay. But I prefer not to. Get it. Get up. Nice. Okay. Oh, I still got one, two, three, four waves, including this one. I know Twitch does. I, I don't even know how to do it on Twitch though. I guess I just haven't had time to figure it out. This is one of the reasons I need to I need to look into getting a um, an, an an indie VTuber manager. Um. Because there's all those little things like that that I still need to set up, but I haven't had the time or. Just, yeah, just the time to figure out how to do it. Uh, we're losing this box. Damn it, we're gonna lose it. There's no way it's gonna survive to the end of this. Okay. Luckily, this 
the, I can afford to lose the box only because we're on the wave ten. Because this 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 thing of pipes or whatever the fuck this is has a lot more life, and I only need one thing to survive each round, so I'm fine losing the crate if 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 it comes down to it. Anybody hurt? No, everybody's looking good. Okay. I love it when Goro does that. It hurts so good. Come on, get him. There you go. Alright, man. You have fun at class. <laughs> YouTube only copies the bad stuff of Twitch. Yeah, man, I swear, some of the decisions that social media, most of the decisions, actually, that social media companies make are absolutely baffling. Oh, it's going to go. These yellow boys are going to kill it. Fuck! Whatever. They're not going to kill the pipe. Ain't no way they're going to kill that pipe. And now, I can, I can concentrate my forces as well, so there's no way I'm losing this. Ain't no way. Oh, got another boss. There. Here. Okay. Actually, you know what? Uh, where's my front? Go. You. I want Goro on the front line. And yeah. Oh, that'll work. And he's. Oh shit. Myself? I don't. Here. Get down here, Goro. We got a boss to take care of. Fuck, I lost somebody. I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I lost my defensive guy stuff, too. That's not good. Uh. Okay, we got him. Attack him! What are you doing, Goro? Come on. There you go. Okay. Oh, that was it. Nice. Very nice. I'm only going to get like a B rank or something like that because I lost one of the main items to defend. Is there another one? Oh my god, there's another one! Black Charisma, Masahiro Chono. Okay, this is the last mission. It's literally saying, end it now! <laughs> but first... Uh... Da -da -da. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I have enough to get every one of these guys. There you go. So should eight seven 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 seven. Do I have gone? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh gone. Max this one out. No, fuck it. I'll upgrade that one too because I can. Alright. In this. I didn't know this was going to be like a... <laughs> a, uh, a stream that's all about this much of a construction. <laughs> I'm fine with it though. Black Riz from a Jeff and he's... <laughs> Yeah, he's uh what's the what's the word for the, the, the super tanned girls? Uh Ganguro? Ganguro girl? 
That's what he is. Gonguru. <laughs> Gonguru boy. It's your own fault for not realizing it's soon. Gang needs more than power these days. They gotta use their brains. You son of a... I have more potential than just some acting ahead of the color gangs. I'm done with you clowns. Me and my gangs don't need you to grow. With that power, I'll make you strong enough to take on the whole world. I'll paint this society. No. I'll paint the whole world pitch black. No, I'm not thinking gonna let that happen. I mean, my suit's like almost white, so I'm kind of offended. <laughs> Everything you paint black, I'll paint over with white. <laughs> Based. <laughs> God damn! I am Chud! I'll show you my true strength. Not gonna lie, his jacket is pretty badass. Like this this high collared long coat with all this with this flower with this this silver flower pattern looks pretty cool. Now it gets cancelled. Nah, you can't get cancelled unless you consent to it. It honestly, it's it baffles me honestly that there's still people that when they get canceled they try to apologize. It baffles me that this far along there's still people that don't understand. You know what I mean? Like it's like what the fuck? Um, there's the van. Oh god! You know what? I almost want to just sacrifice this crate. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's see here. I'll, def I'll try to defend it. I feel like I don't really need to, though, but whatever. Him there. And <clears throat> him down. Okay. Now we got three over here. Uh, I don't like the, gun the gunner distribution. Put the gunner there. The other one here. Him back. Him over here. Okay, we're good. I see a black door. I must have it painted white. <laughs> wow, this is a big first wave. There's a lot of... A lot of killing in this first wave. Come on. Nice. Okay. First wave done. Pretty much unscathed. Okay. Uh, Goro. Get down there and help him. There you go. Get him. There you go. Come on, get the rocket launcher. There you go. Good job. Who's left? Oh. All those guys are left. Okay. I love those big AOE sweeping attacks. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying with like, like when like a dozen of them, of them die in like one swoop. It's great. I'm gonna get canceled. Oh, we'll get canceled together. It's fine. Honestly, getting canceled is like a badge of honor. I mean, how many times have they tried to cancel Asmund Gold and all he does is like, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he just grows stronger every time. I love it. Because Asmund Gold understands, you know, uh, 
the apology they're not looking for an apology because they want you to apologize they want you to they want it's a litmus test to see if they can control you you know so if you just say go fuck yourself they can't control you so they'll whine about it but then they'll move on but if you apologize they're like oh we can make him capitulate um and you're only gonna bring more hell upon yourself so tell them to go fuck them fuck themselves um Laugh in the face of the devil, and then the devil will go away. <laughs> it's not that complicated, honestly. What was the saying uh, from Gladiator? Remember at the at the end when he's like, um, "A wise man once said that death smiles at us all, and all a man can do is smile back." And that's what you have to do. You have to just smile back. You say, "I'm not going to apologize. I'm just going to keep laughing at you." Um, your moral paradigm is uh, loopy and backwards, and I do not follow the same the same moral paradigm as you. Therefore, uh, your opinions of me uh, mean nothing. Um, go fuck yourself, haha. -ha. <laughs> you know, it's like it's that simple. You know, yeah, that's the thing. When they say like, "Oh, you're being a racist and misogynist," all this kind of stuff, they're not. They're not appealing to their morality. They're appealing to yours. They they call you those things because you think that those things are bad. Um, and they mean to weaponize those sentiments against you. You have to understand that. They don't live in the same moral paradigm as you. So you can absolutely tell them all to go fuck themselves. Um, their morality is shit. Um, and then just laugh at them. And that's all it takes. That's literally all it takes. <clears throat> it is not complicated. Oh my god, one of them already died? Well, that's bad. Put my defense is up. I attack up. It's only the fifth wave. Shoto's already out here. It's a little disheartening, I have to say. Come on, guys. Get in there. Why is the only guy doing damage to him? The little guy taking pot shots at him. I can't not lose Goro. He's an absolute must-not-die. There we go. Okay. Okay, he's gonna be back, boys. So be prepared. God, I can't believe I lost the guy. It sucks. Oh, funny. Whatever this is, is it life? Yes, life. Okay. What the fuck? Where's the money? I don't even really need the life. on. There you go. Okay. Okay, this is the middle wave. Alright, come on, boys. Got this. Closer up here. Here. Okay. That's right. Fucking filter these bitches. I gotta say, like, come on, guys. <laughs> okay. Fine. That's fine. Oh, definitely need to get these grenades, these rocket launchers first. Get them. There you go. No rocket. Oh, they're going for the crate. That's why they're running down there. Okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, uh, come on, take care of him. Get him. What? Why'd you just run by him? Fuck that guy. Fuck him up. Get him. Don't let him take the shot. There you go. Ooh, this guy's hurt. 
We're okay. We're okay. Nine of fourteen. Okay. Ooh, it's a bunch of money on the ground too. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Okay. Fine. Okay, you. The money. There you go. I mean, I'm technically committing a massacre here. <laughs> okay. Pretty straightforward wave. Home stretch now. Okay, a lot of hoodie boys. <laughs> Oh, wait a whiff. Come on. Oh my god, hit him, bro. Just hit him. Shoot this guy. Thank you. Okay, who's hurt? Anybody hurt? Nobody's really hurt. Majima's a little hurt, but he can... He'll be fine. On, filter these guys. There you go. Okay. Four more waves. Okay. That was easy. Oh. This looks harder. Uh, are there people down below? No, come on. I need, I need another body up here. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage. Come on, guys. Get in there. Fucking grenaders, I swear to God. Man, the van's the, the van's taking a decent amount of damage actually. I'm not liking that. Down here. Funny. Oh my god. Come on. Get him. There you go. There you go. Good job. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, two waves. Two waves left. Shit. Uh, are they only coming from that side? They are. Okay. Everybody, all hands up here. Now, 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 now. I gotta pay attention. I gotta pay attention to life bars on this one. Far, we're okay. Pop him off. Pop him off. Okay, we got one of the bosses. And there goes the other one. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let me top off. We're gonna see. Yep, I knew that Chona was gonna show up for this one. That's okay. Pop him off. Pop him off. Yeah, everybody's coming from up top. Okay. Come here. Everybody get up there. Uh... Total's almost gone. We've almost got him. Come on. Hang in there, Goro. Come on. Come on, come on. 
Oh, that was close. Hey, get Chono. We need to get Chono. Come on, guys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Nice! Right on. Right on. Wow, I even S ranked it. Rank S. No death bonus. I didn't get the no death bonus. Whatever. That was the last mission anyway. I think I'm done with this. <laughs> Unless I gotta fight the president now. God damn! It's over, Chono. Hell no, the color gangs can't end like this. You gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them, Chono. <laughs> Naive as ever, Muto. I still got a trump card up my sleeve. Ooh. What do you mean? I have a contingency plan. I head to Rikawa, reach out to an overseas gang just in case this happened. They unite with the colors, not even Majima Construction stands a chance. All I gotta do is give the signal for the attack to begin, and you guys are finished. <laughs> you bastard! Haha, <laughs> didn't I tell you already? Gangs these days gotta play it smart. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> this was an awkward silence. He, uh, isn't answering. <laughs> did you call the right number? Yeah. Come oh, on, man, of course I did. I got him in my contacts. Uh-oh. Hey, finally, I'm ordering the attack. Oh, you gotta hit him hard as you can. You have reached the voicemail box for... God damn! God damn! <laughs> Yeah, you're a goddamn idiot. You can't even get a hold of your so-called international gang. Man, this isn't really going how I pictured it. <laughs> I love how they're intro This is like the kind of comedy that you have in like an in-ring promo I, I, for wrestling. I fucking love it. And what you're saying is, there's no big-ass attack coming down the pipe. We're done here? Uh. Yeah, seems that way. Mm -hmm. Nice. I say we're due for a celebration then. <laughs> now we're talking. This be all company done. You right, Mr. President? Mm. Well, it's a cheap skate, oh, it's a cheap skate. <laughs> I can sympathize. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. If I say there's gonna be a final battle, then we're gonna have a final fucking battle. But your call didn't go through. A minor setback. I'm sure he'll call back any minute now. Aha! Now you're all doomed! <laughs> this is so goofy. Hey, this is Chodo. Uh, chodo san I am sorry I couldn't get to the phone earlier. Rakawa, it's all good. But hey, did you manage to negotiate with that international gang like I asked? Sir, about that. Instead of joining up with the color gangs, the color gangs joined up with them. Oh, damn! <laughs> Fucking... Uno reverse carded him. <laughs> when I gave them details on our situation, they said it surrounded like we'd be easy pickings. Then they convinced the leaders of the color gangs to switch sides for the coming attack. Possible. Also, now Chono's gonna join me because I'm the only army he's got to defend against the the whole gang that, that's betrayed him now. <laughs> I told them about the hills plan too, of course, so they're going to try to take that too, naturally. Sounds like they'll be matching a full-scale invasion on Majima Construction. Those double-crossing animals! Choro-san, these guys are well out of your league. Please tell Majima-san to prepare the hills... ...plan for the... wait? To prepare the hills plan for them? It's awkward. If you don't, they'll kill you all! And after everything you, you and Mujo-san have done for me, that would be terrible. I mean, plus, I just ordered like 12 pizzas for all of us. So much of that would go to waste if you were all to die. All right, hand over the phone. 
Look at Chodo, he's got this pouty face. <laughs> hey, I don't know who these butt balls are, but you tell them I said this. You want the hills planted? and come try to pry it out of my hands. Are you sure about this bunch of massage? Ooh. Yeah. You think I got a hot buttered shit that they're international? I've got home turf advantage. Very well, sir. I'll pass the message along then. The overseas crew teaming up with the left, what's left of the color gangs. We've got our work cut out for us. Yeah, good thing work's so damn fun, huh? Maybe there'll be an opponent worthy of a fight. Let's get down to business. Right, guys? What are you gonna do now, Chono? I'm the leader of those ingrates. No way I'm just gonna roll over on this. Only option I got left is to knock some damn sense into them. Oh, come on, what's your plan? Charge it like a one-man army? I ain't about to let those guys run wild in our city either. He even uses the term run wild. That's a wrestling term. That's funny. Why don't you just bow your head to Majima's sign and fight with us? What? Majima Construction's motto is, well, it seems to change every time he says it, but it's basically if you're going to put in the work, you're welcome to join. Now you're getting it, kitty. Cool. But it was a little lacking on the violence. You better believe I'm gonna grind you to the bone. Sorry, man. Alright, this time it's for real. Let's go all in, boys. Yeah, Chono's on the team. I actually want to level him up and put him on the team because he's really strong. Hot buttered shit. Activity biscuits and gravy. Yeah, his his blood is gravy at this point. <laughs> L plus ratio. <laughs> yeah, I totally got ratio. <laughs> yeah, good work, Surakala. Counting on you, you know. If you lose, they'll find out I betrayed them, and I'll be finished. I wouldn't sweat. You gave us the color gates. In return, our elites will crush them. The Kamarocha Hills plan will be ours, and we'll be, of course, ensure the bid goes to Muto Realty. You're right. There's nothing to fear. The hills and all the money that comes with them will be mine. Haha, <laughs> too bad, Muto and Chono. It seems I was the only one with a brain. This guy's sitting here like, I'm right in front of you, dude. Yeah. That southern diet will leave you piss and sweat and shitting butter. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, train. I got, oh, I got 192. That's not a lot. But I want. Where is he? There you are. There's Chono. There's my boy. Like, yeah, all the way to level six. Nice. <clears throat> That's a hero, Chono. Hmm. I put him on the team. I think I do. Um, who's consistently not doing well? Yeah, this guy. Well, yeah. It's replaced with... Where is he? Where's my boy? Uh, where is he? Oh, Chono. There he is. My boy. Hmm. Black Charisma. His <laughs> skill is called Black Charisma. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that that uh that shady riz going. <laughs> Man, I'm 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 sacrificing a guy with a ton of attack though. I almost don't want to see here. But... For him. More health, more attack, less defense, but that's okay. Okay, cool. Then I want him there. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another Sotenbori construction protection. Majima Construction's final battle. This better actually be the final battle. 16 waves, almost 2,000 enemies. Holy shit. What about this one? 8 waves at 7-Eleven? 
Uh, let me do this, because I'll get some tickets that I can get Shono up to at least level 7. Which will be a big help. Defenses for fence sitters? Yeah, I mean... Best defense is a good offense. <laughs> Oh, there's some gimps down there. Oh, I'm surrounded by gimps. Oh, no. You will not take my van. Uh, okay, there's that. You down here. I think I only have... Two gunners now. Him and him. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go down here. Oop. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, gunner. Here. Move him up. And then I'll roam around with Majima. Wow, these are like bosses. Just like right there at the beginning. Damn. They're not the strongest bosses, though. Get him. There you go. Okay. Man, these guys are hitting hard. Fuck. What the fuck? Get him. I just realized that the lane is split by all these barriers. That's interesting. Ah, uh, get down there. Come on, guys. Check the van! Okay. Not bad, not bad. Already a quarter of the way through this one. Good. Guys! Okay, come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there. These damn yellow boys. Oh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> I didn't mean that kind of yellow. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys! Get over here! What the fuck are you doing? This fan is almost halfway dead already because you're not fucking doing anything. Oh my god, there's just like literally nothing but bosses. Okay, we're okay. Come on. There you go. One. Come on, Shono. Take him out. Take him out. Black Charisma! I have no idea what that accomplishes. Okay, get back up here. God, the truck is almost gone. I do not like it. What the fuck? There's a bunch of guys down here. Come on, protect the van! Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, 
god. Okay, um, I really need to get down this quarter. Get down the quarter. Get them away from the truck. There you go. That's what I like to see. Come on, there's more yellow guys. Come on. Get them. Hurry up. Get them. Thank you. Ugh. All right, two more waves. Anything up here? No. Okay. I swear to God, come on. We're gonna. Damn it! Come on, guys! What is wrong with you? Oh my God, you guys! Get in there and attack them! Get over here! Why are you just standing there? Shit! Alright, final wave. Hope I don't die. Oh, there's actually a chance that that happens. Because they just have not been attacking like they need to. Get in there and get... Oh my god, you guys! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Because they will not... Oh my god! Come on. I'm about to die. Come on. Come on. Kill these guys. Kill these guys. Kill these guys. Oh my god. Get him. Get him. Oh, thank god. Jeez. Are you? Why aren't you guys helping out? Help out! Okay, get down there. Get in here. Get him. God, this guy could take a lot of hits. Holy shit. Come on. Ah. Oh, I can't heal Chono anymore. Come on. Just blow through everything. Alright. Finish him off. Come on. Thank you. Ah, oh, finally. That was really close. Okay. I think that's it for the Sotenbori defense missions. Uh, where are you, buddy? There you are. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You're gonna be my second level 8 boy. Uh, also... Where is it? This guy. Yo. Okay. Alright, I got a pretty formidable squad now. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For anything, three million? Yeah, let's max it up. Okay. Alright, final mission. Sixteen waves. Got this. It's gonna be a fucking marathon, but we got this.
I can't believe this is like all I'm doing this stream. It's been two hours and this is all I've done this stream. <laughs> That's alright though. This is fun. This is the final battle. You all ready to do it? Yeah, right I am. I'm gonna rip them all apart. Now show them the strength of Dragon Fujinami. <laughs> That's his wrestling thing. God damn! I am Chodo. All you need to see. They're as ready as they always are. It's a hell of a roster, ain't it? Our little company's really filled out. <laughs> Alright! Find you by construction. Time to fire off one last firework. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's been stuck in my head. Goro, Majiba, Majiba, Kesuse, Tsu. I love that the fact that it kind of sounds like a communist propaganda marching song. Open them, killing you, Kiryu chan. That's all me, got it? I think that's how you and I fit together best anyway. Kind of does. Yeah, it does. It totally sounds like a communist marching song. Showtime, boys. Prisoner of the Torch. Kill them all dead. All right. Let's fucking go. This is like every boss. Maximum waves. Everyone's at full power. Oh, look at the site. Oh, the, the, this is the, the, the arena is actually in the construction site. Okay, it looks like it's forcing a bottleneck, but this is not going to last. These barriers are going to disappear at some point. So I can't rely on this bottleneck, but for now I can. They're all going to have to funnel through here at first. Where are my gunners? I want to put them in back. Hey, you go like... Oops, wrong button. There. Get up there. Come on, guys. Now, one back here. Hang on. I need one guy, like, actually defending the machine. There you go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Why are they coming in like like a dozen at a time? They're coming like look, they're coming in one line at a time. That's so weird. Go. Nice. Okay. Wave one. Done. Japanese construction market would be quite competitive. I mean, that's basically the premise of yakuza zero is control it's it's literally centered around uh control over this tiny little uh empty lot in the middle of a rundown district um that's yeah that's that's the centerpiece of the whole plot of yakuza zero zero <laughs> uh let's see here we're all fine we're fine we're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> yeah, get out there. Get him. Get him. Ah, I fucking hate the yellow game. I got like grenades and rocket launchers and shit. I hate them. Here we go. Okay, you actually. 
Uh, get a little bit of, get a life boost. There you go. Oh, fuck this guy. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this fucking trickle. Come on. They're like, they're like warping in like, like a dozen at a time. It's annoying. Oh my god, they won't stop! <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you. Get him. There you go. Alright. Yeah, it's also why they have to, like, build artificial islands for airports and stuff. You know? They do that in Hong Kong, too. Like, Hong Kong International Airport is entirely built on a man-made island. And it's actually, like, slowly sinking, and they're constantly having to shore up the island. Kind of a problem. <laughs> I think that one of the, uh, is it, it might be Kansai Airport is the same thing in Japan. It's it's built on an artificial island that's subsiding, and they're constantly having to add add more earth uh, to the island to keep it shored up. Um, and they have these pillars that they can that they literally adjust every single day to make up for the uneven substance of the island. Um, it's kind of fascinating what they've done over there. Oh, Chozo could use a top off. Everybody else, actually, a couple people that can use a top off. You know what? I'm going to let it fly. They're okay for now. Get out there. Get out there. Yeah, see, some of these barriers are starting to disappear. Oh, there's a boss here. Oh, shit! I wasn't keeping track. Damn it! Oh, man, these guys hurt. Goro, my boy, you are not doing well. Holy shit. Fuck, I lost Chono! Fuck! It's a, we're only a quarter way through this, too. That's, that's not good. Oh, boy, this could get rough. <laughs> Get in there. You can attack any time now, Goro. Jeez. Attack. Attack, please. Please attack. Thank you. Okay. Uh... Come on. Get in there. Get him. Get him. There you go. Okay. Okay, wave six. They got that. Here. Here. Go. Job. 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 I love the gunners. They're very handy. Come on. Good job. Good job. One more. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we lost Chono, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Hey, <laughs> 69. 69 punks. We're almost halfway through this. We're in pretty good shape. Crane is almost perfect health. This thing, not so much, but this thing is still fine. We still got plenty of life left here. Ah, hit him. There you go. Drop. See, these guys, they spread out because they're all gunners. I hate them. Job. Yeah, get over there. Get over here. Get over there. Pop him off. Pop him off. Okay. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, boss time. That means... That. And then when the boss gets close to Goro... Like that. Tornado time. Oh yeah. Nice! That was a rapid dispatch. I'd love to see it. Where is he? Oh. Okay, cool. That was a smooth boss round. Very good. Okay, halfway home. Halfway home. Oh god, there are a lot of them. Come on, get him! God, these fuckers are fast. Oh god. Come on! What are you doing? Get down here, you fuckers! What, what's happening? Go over here! What, what is going on? Attack the guy! What are you doing? Fucking idiot! Oh, another barrier disappeared. You, down here, now! God, these red guys are fucking fast. Get him, get him. Good job. Okay. Oh, gunners. Okay, now we actually do need to get out there. Come on. You, get back here. Hold on. Shooting at the thing. Stop it. Okay. This some S ranking all the the rounds. It looks like. Over here. on over here. Oh, that's going on. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, Goro. Get in there. Good job. Okay. Is anybody actually hurt? Doesn't look like it. Come on, guys. You got... Oh, my God. Get over there and attack them. Thank you. What is happening over here? Bro! Get down here! Oh my god, we're gonna lose the pipe pile. Damn it. I don't see it surviving. I just don't. Fucking gunners. Okay. Okay, where's Goro? Goro, get over here by the boss. Get him. There you go. Okay, boss down. Good. Get in there. Get in there. I don't want these guys anywhere fucking near the pipes. There you go. I turn around. Get that guy. There you go. Okay. Okay. Three quarters there. Four more. Whoa, that is a wide variety. That's like a little bit of everything. Oh, Jesus. The pipes are gone. The pipes are fucking gone. Because of the fucking yellow guys again. God damn it. Come on, guys. Oh my god, seriously? A bunch more. Fuck! They just keep appearing! Fuck! There it goes, it's gone. God damn it. 
Get those fucking yellow guys. I swear to God, I fucking hate these yellow guys. Oh my God! What is happening? Get in there and kill the guys who are... Oh my... Attack them! Hurry up! Oh, this is bad. This is fucking bad. This is fucking bad. Oh, this is really fucking bad. I don't think this thing is going to survive for another three rounds. I just don't see it happening. Back, get back here. I, I need... All hands need to be defending this last bastion. Just barely hanging on by a fucking thread. God damn it. I'm so fucking pissed off. My god, just hit the guy! God! Okay. Get him. There you go. That's why. There you go. Oh my god, they won't fucking stop! Let the gunners take care of them. Okay, get them. Finally! Holy shit! Okay, that was... Two rounds left. I got about 15% of... Oh, fucking god! Oh god, this is... This is, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be rough. God. I swear to God, these fucking rocket launchers. It's fucking rocket launchers, man. Come on. Get in there. Go up there. Come on. Attack him. Oh my God. Another whole fucking wave disappeared. Jesus. This is getting out of hand. Oh my God. Fuck. It's over, lads. Y'all just suck too much. Oh, yeah, you fucking lost. Oh, my God. I only got 15 tickets for that. That was a complete waste of fucking time. Damn. <laughs> They're all doing his wrestler pose. I don't have, like, any tickets at all to train people. Which means... I have to grind other missions. Fuck. Okay, well... Let's do... Hmm. Let's do this one. World War II, <laughs> something like that. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you. I need to grind missions so I can upgrade my boys to like. At least, like, half of them need to be, like, level 10. So I'm gonna have to grind a few missions to be able to do that. Unfortunately. Um, uh, where are my gunners? They're kind of, like, right in the middle. To kind of reach everybody. There. There. And kind of out front. Uh, one, two, three. Three, one, two... Right there. Okay. Alright, bring it on, bitches. Okay, 
Yeah, looking good. Cool. Okay. Good, good, good. So far, so good. If I can't grind with my homies, I need to homies. Damn right. Homies gonna be on the grind. I gotta get these guys fucking min-maxed. Because right now my highest level is level 8. I gotta get, like I said, like 5 of them up to level 10. Ah, this damn gunfire. It hoits. Fucking bitches. Okay. Whoa! Look at that, like, fucking sonic boom he gets through up? That was cool. Oh my god, Chono, just stay up there and fight them, you fuck! It's annoying because, like, wherever, like, you position them, they will, like, traverse, like, a certain radius away from that position. The moment they hit that radius maximum, they immediately just stop engagement and run back to the position. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah, kill them yellow boys. It sounds so racist. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Put on down here. What you doing? Guys! Get the rocket launcher, you fucks! Thank you! Fucking dipshits. Oops, some money just appeared. Get all that moolah. There you go. Okay. Oh my god, I hate it when they're chasing people down like this. Just fucking stop! That's what the backup line is for! Good job. Okay. Like, I, I put them in coverage areas where they should, like, all just kind of back each other up and not allow stragglers to get to the crates and stuff. You never know with this fucking game. Get him. Get him. There go. Come on. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Gunners. Not forbid the melee people do anything about it. Okay. Good. Nice. Man, I swear my Gunners are like fucking saviors, man. They're like, they're so good at like, taking care of stragglers that get by the front lines. God, that was a fucking long ass wave. What the fuck? Alright, boss time. Okay. Got. The bosses. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Get him. Get him. Get him, Goro. There you go. Oh, that wasn't even Goro. That was my karate, old karate man. 
Oh yeah, they fucking got him. Wail on him, Chono. This is too. <laughs> nice. Shove that fucker in a corner and fuck him up. Oh, there's a lot of gunners. Lots of gunners. Get in the thick of it, guys. Right in the middle. Luckily, nobody's really taking any damage yet. Okay, they're getting through. Oh, lost a barrier. Nice. Nice. Okay. Gunner? Should I hardly knew her? What can I say? They can't all be winners. <laughs> Get them. Get them. Get the fucking machine gun people. They obviously are, should be the priority. Nice. That fucking Sonic boot kick is great. There you go. Okay. See, the backup line's working well. So. Like, neither of my objects have taken that hardly any damage at all, so. They're doing good. There's no more bottlenecks, though, which is kind of a problem. Okay, these are gunners. Get in there. Get in the thick of it. Nice. Good. Look good. Okay. Only two more ways. We're looking really solid. Hey, everybody's pretty solid. Like, what the fuck? Just fucking stand there like a dick. Up. Okay. Hey, this is all fine. Good job. Okay. Final wave, and we're in real good shape. <laughs> They're just as coherent when you watch New Japan Wrestling. <laughs> That's it. Fucking solo the boss. You can solo him. Come on. Got this. Get him. Get him. Oh. Oh. Yep. Get him. Get him. 
Nice! Way to solo him! Hell yeah! Damn, that was fucking wreckage. I like how Turyuka stands there looks like, Ugh. Yeah, I guess I'm happy. <laughs> there we go, 160 tickets. That's more like it. That's what I needed. Does. Um, hmm. Who do I actually want? Uh. Man, I only have enough to upgrade one of them. Yuya? Where is he? You already. Oh, he's already level 90. Okay. Yeah, let's. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, hell. He's out there on the front lines a lot. Let's do him. Okay. Now, I've got one, two, three, four level eights, five level sevens. And I can't afford to do shit beyond that. <laughs> Let's see. The color's offensive. Twelve waves. This one only has ten waves. Fully collect try this one. Damn. I guess realized that I had I took out some fresh bread rolls right before stream started and I guess left them on my desk and I forgot that they were there and I guess down discovered them and they're like kind of crunchy <laughs> Get a nice strong front line uh, where's the other gunner there he is and then here, here. Okay. Still good though. I'm eating uh the, the King's Hawaiian sweet rolls. You ever have? You ever have those? If you have it, they're fucking delicious. You know what? I don't think I need a front line for this one. Hang on. Get down here. Down here. Down here. Oh my god! That was a lot of army guys. I'm just going to encircle the one thing I have to defend. There's no reason for me to strategically place the units for this one. I'll just basically hold back the Zerg wave and should be fine. Alright, get in there guys. Okay, looking good so far. Gotta look out for the beatus. <laughs> Thanks, from Oh man, that damn sugar foot. I 
I actually thought I was getting diabetes a few years ago. And I went and, I went and got my blood tested. And they were like, no, your blood is totally fine. <laughs> it's actually, like, right exactly the way it should be. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna, you know, mitigate it, though. Um, I, I don't have diabetes, really, in my family history. My family is a cancer family. But I feel like that's every family more and more these days. <laughs> Which makes sense because of all the poison that's in our food supply in America. Okay. Already at the halfway point. Um... Get him. Get him. Almost got him. Oh, there's another boss. There's two bosses. Shit. Oh, there's three bosses. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. I'm almost losing some guys. Okay. We're okay. Get him. Get him. There you go. Atta boy, Goro. All right. Cool. We're good. Y'all good. Ooh, a bunch of money appeared. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna grind like a few more, and then it, at on the hour, I'm gonna attempt that last mission one more time and see if I can beat it on stream. Um, if not, I will grind off stream and beat it on the next one. Get him. Get him. Yes. Nice. It is. They always say, like, cancer is genetic, which is only, like, partially true. I mean, a lot of it is the, um, the poison that's all over our society in America. You know, there's all the microplastics and stuff that you ingest over the years, and it's just, yeah, it's bad. Somebody got, oh my gosh, they're hitting the, they're hitting the crane. Bastards. Uh. Nice. It's take kind of a long time, though. This might, I might only have enough time for one more grind mission before I try the, fu the final boss. This shit again. Nice. Go. Nice. Nice, get him, get him, get them yellow bastards. <laughs> nice. Wow, they're getting really far away from their from their starting points. There you go. You're weak. You're weak. Although they do keep coming. It's annoying. Stop it. Stupid little tiny five-man waves. Just turn them into a Pacific War vet? <laughs> I don't have the capability. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh man, did you see that? That um, there's uh an AJ Plus, the, the AJ Plus uh Twitter account posted uh, a video about how it had this Japanese quote unquote professor or expert or historian or whatever uh, proclaiming that America needs to apologize if they still and we still haven't repented for what we did in World War II to them, and the tweet got community noted and ratioed into oblivion. With a bunch of people just saying, like, Nanjing, Korea, Unit 731, <laughs> you know? And it's like, oof. Like, if there's any, if, if there's no place, if there's any place um, that where Japan has absolutely no uh, no moral authority in, in regards to browbeating people for apologizing, it's World War II era Japan. Like, holy shit. Or should a video on it? Oh, okay. I'll have to watch that. Okay. But... I think, a, I, I think it's oh funny about it is that I think a lot of people are learning about US, Unit 731 for the first time. And it's like... Ooh, man. <laughs> Oof. Like, just, re reading the, just reading the Wikipedia article is fucking... Psychotic. <laughs> the shit that 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 whole thing was about. God damn. Okay, I got 237 tickets. Um, let me put. Oh, I get. Oh, I'm three away from being able to upgrade two people to level nine. God damn it. Okay. Well, Goro's number one. <clears throat> got 90 tickets left. Uh, him. Him. Okay, yeah. Okay. Five, one, two, one, five. Okay. Cool. I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything with the fortify. <clears throat> Okay, one more grind mission. This actually is a pretty good one to, to use for grinding, to be honest. Because it's pretty straightforward and easy. Welcome to the desert of the real normies? Yeah, dude. A lot of people are learning about World War II era Japan right now. <laughs> or recently. It's like, yeah, it's... Pretty harrowing. And it was also revealed that the quote-unquote expert, uh, they called her an, an historian, and she's a, she, her title is gender historian, which means useless idiot. <laughs> you know, that's what that means. Oh, man. Uh, you go there, you go, no, go there. Go here, your backup. And I want Chono on the front line. Your backup. Your front line. Okay, let's go. Study the history. <laughs> yeah. History. I mean, it, it, that's the thing. Like, your first reaction to that is laughter but then you realize oh yeah that's actually what she does it's like wow you're you're a joke as a person <laughs> you know what i mean it's like a professor of my vagina <laughs> you know <laughs> history of gender for god's sakes I mean, what even is there to a profession like that? It sounds like such a grifting title. Like in the beginning, there was ma there was male and female. The end. That's the that's the entire history of genders. <laughs> There's nothing else to it. Unless you're a dishonest political hack. Okay, need to get out there. Get up, get out there. There you go. 
Come on, Shono, get into it. Stop walking slowly towards them and hit them. Hit them! What are you doing, Chono? You fucking idiot! Oh my god, would you fucking attack him? Attack him! God, Chono, you fucking idiot! What? Oh my god, Shota, you're really kind of pissing me off at this point. There you go. Good job, Goro. Gonna pull your weight. Get him! There you go. Your class taught by Amy Schumer. Oh my god. It's fucking unalive me now. <laughs> Yo. There you go, Chono actually doing something. Fielded a team of all gunners, like all level 10 gunners. It basically could just be like an unstoppable wall of snipers. Okay. Good. Oh, there goes one of the barriers. Oh, idiot. Go. Attack him, please. There you go. Thank you for doing something. <laughs> Come on. more than we're halfway. Okay. Go ahead and spam the uh, stat increases here. Fucking guys, come on. There you go. Stagger that motherfucker. Attack him. There you go. Okay. Alright. Guys, next. Take your time. <laughs> Come on, solo this motherfucker. Get him! There you go. Get him! Nice! Fuck you, Gordon. Gordon. Oh, by the way... Uh, I'm not, I think I'm gonna, uh, produce, um, a, uh, a, a video, uh, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I'm gonna try to make it tomorrow. Um, the, uh, the guy who directed, um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, 
got promoted to like an executive level decision making position. Um, so now like Square Enix, the decision makers in the, in the in Square Enix now are a lot of like old school Japanese guys that are like really fucking good at game making get good games, um, which is like a white pill um, considering like the shit that's going on right now. And I want to make a video about it, so I'm gonna try to produce that tomorrow. Um, and then on the stream tomorrow. <clears throat> and and honestly, it's another. It's more um, of an opportunity to do the the more pre-recorded kind of content. Oh my god, there are a lot of dickheads over there. Fuck. Holy shit. Guys, you need, you need to attack them. Come on. There you go. Jesus. A merit meritocratic decision for once? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Rebirth is a success in terms of, like, the... You know, how much people are liking it and stuff like that. It's not quite a financial success. Um, but that'll more than get made up for the moment it drops on Steam. When Rebirth releases on Steam, it'll more than make up for any kind of financial gaps in the, in the exclusivity with the PS5. Um, which is another data point and the fact that if Sony wants to be successful in the AAA market, um, they need to release uh, simultaneously on Steam day one. And that's just... That's just where the market is right now. Okay. We'll pop off there. Okay. Good. Get him, get him, get him. Looking good. Nice. Get on the Chono. Let's finish him off. Nice. Two more ways. Uh, come on. Um, oh, they're booked up over there. Oh, Goro. Jesus. You're going to waste. Get a Michael Jackson. Asian Michael Jackson over here. <laughs> Alright, final wave. And then... It's 8 o'clock sharp. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna attempt... Um... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. <laughs> Drop that. Drop everything. Dump every upgrade right now. Alright. Give him hell, Goro. There you go. Got him. All right. All that's left now is the riffraff. Beautiful. Aging Asian Michael Jackson. Yeah. Something like that. It is a very catchy jingle, I will admit. Right. 160 tickets. That's enough to get Goro um, up to 10. There we go. I got 37 left. That's not enough to win anything. So, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, last time we had like like two level eights, the rest were sevens. Now we have four level eights, a level ten, and five sevens. So we're in better, we're in a better position. So let's try this. Let's see if we can do this. See if we can end the stream on a, on a on a on a victory, maybe. I'm honestly skeptical. I have a feeling I have to grind some more, but let's see if we can do this. Okay. Where are my gunners? Fall back. Back. You know what? Put the gunner way over here, because they like to... Oh, they like to like sneak around on the other side of the fucking crane. Annoying as hell. There. There. Here. And I have to I have to because there's like so many ranged attackers in this one, I have to micromanage more. Like just have to be aware of that. Actually, no, I want Goro right out in front. It's a level 10. Alright. Get out there, Goro. Hey. Okay. I gotta pay better attention to not so I don't fucking lose. Because last time I accidentally lost Chono in like the fourth round, which was terrible. I like how they just stand there and just let me kill them. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Goro? <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Now we need to get out there. Get out there. Proactive. I'm trying to create like a mi oh, fucking Jesus, just walking right up. Jesus. Okay. Let's let Goro just cause mayhem up here. Good. Ah, come on. Get him. This is so annoying. Although it's much easier to manage, I will say. Instead of when they when they spawn, it's like an entire line, three three man deep line across the entire screen. It's like, oh fuck. <laughs> Good. Nice. Okay. Calm down, Goro. Like that. That's what I don't like. <laughs> In there. There you go. Stop. Look at Goro just mince meeting them all. I love it. Everybody's doing pretty good life wise still too, which is good. No, 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 don't run back. What are you doing? Hey. Okay. Good. Only a handful left. Nice. All right, that's three, three clean waves. I like it. Good start. Good start. Okay, now this is where I accidentally lost Chono last time, so I guess gotta make sure I don't do that again. Uh, you know what? Let Goro just run wild up there on his own. Let's focus on the boss here. Okay. Come on. 
Anybody getting hurt? A little bit. Nice! Okay, we got the boss. Yeah, last time, uh, Chono was only level 6 the last time I tried this, so... Now he's level 8. Good. Get him, get him, get him. Nice! I don't think we've had a single bit of damage to either equipment yet. We're already a quarter of the way through. So, off to a good start. Off to a good start. Uh, oh my god, they're fast. They are fast. Oh my god, they are up. Oh. Ha! They, oh, I got the... They hit the crane. Damn. But I actually stopped them down here. That was cool. No. What's hitting what? What's going on? Okay. Uh, Chono. Get over here. Nice. Okay. Good round. Good round. I kind of want to have Chono and Goro kind of roaming around in the in the <clears throat> in the foreground, whatever you call it, like the the upper area. I don't know what to call it. Because <laughs> they can do a really good job on their own of just like thinning out the crowd. So by the time the main, the crowd reaches the backup, it'll be a lot easier for them to mitigate. Okay, keep everybody topped off. We're still in good shape. That a boy, Goro. Good, good, good. Things looking good. Get him. Nice. Good. Very good. Doing very well. Doing very well so far. Wave 7. Here we go. Oh, I need someone down here to help him out. A little bit closer to the... Oh, God. Oh, not... Oh. <laughs> they're gonna... They're gonna kick it. Get him! Attack them! There you go. Okay. Back up. Any time now, you can attack. There you go. Good. Go, Goro, go! Go! Yeah! No, what are you doing? We're gonna attack the guy, dumbass. All right. <clears throat> All right. Midpoint wave. Two bosses. Okay. Exhaust my powers. Door over here. Hit that tornado. He's right on top of a boss. And... Goro, what? Get him! Nice! Both bosses down, no problem. Hell yeah. I think we might have a chance, chat. Might have a chance. Looking real good and we're halfway through. Come on, guys. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, good. Mitigated for the most part. God, these red guys are so fucking fast. They just beeline right towards the items. It sucks. Okay. Didn't suffer too bad, though. Still doing good. Still doing good. Nice, that was a good herd thinning. Move. Good. Done, everybody. Everybody's doing a good job. Where was this energy last time?
Good. Now nah, we're fine. Get him. Nice. Run up there and get those guys. One, two. Perfect. Right. Right. I can't believe we might actually, we might actually do this. Oh, there you go, Chodo. Come on, get in there. There you go. What is going on over here? Guys! Oh my god, why aren't you attacking the guys who are attacking the crane? What is happening? Come on. Okay, that wasn't the greatest round. Still okay. We still got half that thing's life. We're still okay. The I beam pile is still doing really good. So still okay. Get this boss. Get this boss. Go. Yeah, everybody's topped off. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. One more. Nice. What I'd like to see. Come on over here. There you go. Okay. Clean round. Four more rounds. Oh god, it begins. I fucking hate these, these spawns. Because of that. Ah, I hate it. Get up there. You've got to attack the yellow guys. Get them. God, they do so much damage. Oh my god, they just respawn again. I hate it so much. Where's Goro? Where are you, Goro? Get him! Okay. Crane is safe. What are you doing? Just standing there. What are you doing? Ah, three more rounds. Are they all going to spawn for that one location? Ugh, okay. There's like no barriers left either, so it's just a wide open field. Hey. Okay. I like the spawn pattern. Hope some motherfuckers. Taichi Suzuki, welcome in. How have you been? How have you been? I am. This is the final mission of this uh, construction, this epic construction uh, quest series in, the, in Yakuza 2. So it's actually the very last thing that I'm doing on the stream, um, whether whether I win or lose, because I've been grinding a bit. So I'm hoping I can win this, but I, I got two ways left. I'm in pretty good shape. I think I can do this. Come on. Get him. Get over here, Majima. Hurry up. There you go. Oh, no. They're hit. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. They're all going to spawn again. Okay. We're okay. Okay. On. Oh god, this is bad. No, no, no. We have you have to get the yellow guys. They do way too much fucking damage in range. Come on, get them. Oh, 
my god, why are... Get him! Get him! Okay. Final wave. Equipment is not in the best shape. I think we can do this, though. I think this is possible. Where's Goro? Where are you, Goro? Come over here. Come over here, Goro. Hit him with your tornado. Come on. Come on. Get him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, another boss appeared. <laughs> Get up already. There we go. Got the range boss. Good. Come on, come on. Protect the crane. Yes. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're doing okay. Uh, top up. Fuck! I lost Chono! God, how did he die so quickly? Oh no. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Okay. Spam these. Got one, I got one. Doro, you're like, you're, you're fucking going. Got another one. Are there any more bots? think yes there's no more bosses on the field there's no more bosses this is it this is it this is it yes ha! hell yeah your death did not go in vain chono hell yeah Oh, man. Well. Holy shit. They gave me three million for that. Hell yeah. Yakuza Kawame in dubbed? I think I could make this dubbed. I think I have the English VA version of this. Impossible. I tend to not play Yakuza games in English. Majima Construction, you're monsters. It's a vid? Oh, okay. Oh, my ya Yakuza Kawama uh, intro dubbed. Absolutely gold. I will do that, Suzuki. Thank you for the suggestion, my friend. Um, <clears throat> now, I know what I'm outclassed, but now that I've got the color gangs, I can call this a win. What? What about me? And the hills and the money? We were so close. Let me give you some advice. A good leader knows when it's time to pull back, no matter how thirsty he may be. Oh, damn. No! Wait! Mate, mate! Damn you! I'll settle the score someday. Next time I come to Camarocho, I'll be playing for keeps. Uh oh. It's got like a whole fucking professional wrestling stable up on him now. <laughs> I guess we've earned a little break, haven't we, boys? Uh. Yeah. With a cash cow like the hills on our hands, I doubt we'll be able to rest too long. Ah, let him go. I don't care who it is. I'll scatter him to the wind. Get him! God damn! I'm still pretty pissed that uh, Tsurakawa would betray us. God damn! <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I thought he was shady from the start. Same goes for you. <laughs> Good point. But I think he learned a valuable lesson. He never had the balls to act on his own anyway. I think the bigger concern is probably the international gang that up and vanished. We beat him back once, but Chodo's color gangs are still in their pocket. It's fine. Those scrubs aren't worth stealing back anyway. If I want a new team, I'll build it from scratch this time. Won't be a problem with charisma like mine. <laughs> Black charisma, am I right? <laughs> Maybe you're right, but what are you guys going to do now? In the short term, for as much trouble as we cause much by construction, you've got to help out a bit. Besides, there's no shortage of fights around this guy. It's like the perfect job. 
Yeah, right? Only the best benefits package from this president. Still, you feel through my build schedule way out of whack. Ready to take responsibility and put in some OT? <sighs> Let's not be easy. Well, guys, I'm off. I'll see you around, I hope. To say there's going to be a wait in there somewhere. There's always a wait. Oh, is there? Yep. <laughs> yeah, kitty, yeah. Cool. Well, this shit makes me uncomfortable, so I'm only going to say it once. Listen up real good now, got it? Uh. Right, so, much obliged, kitty chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He said thank you. Serious, if it weren't for the form of kitty, you, I can't say I'm sure things would have gone down in my favor. You really came through for me. Screw it. What's more, for the record, I'm grateful to you, Kitty Chan. Mm. Believe me, it's mutual. Don't worry about it. Be honest, felt good to be useful to you, Majima san. I'll be there for you anytime. Except to let him kill you. Damn it, Kitty Chan! <laughs> All's well that ends well, eh? Ooh. <laughs> yes. See? Guys can make friendships look beautiful, too. <laughs> what a couple of cheese balls. Kiruja. Hey, kitty mm -hmm. You let yourself open. Oh, Nani. he missed. Wow, wow, dick move, man. Get him. Yeah, damn. Sliming. Wait, do I have to fight him? Kitty Chan's fair game, and I'm gonna take any opening he leaves me. <laughs> if anyone's ever gonna kill Kitty Chan, it's me. <laughs> I never could predict you, and I suppose I never will. Let's build some hills. Wait, do I do I or do I not fight him? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> oh man. The, the th thirst compromiser pullout game. Yes, exactly. Um. Anyway. Well, we, uh, we, I can't believe this, but, hang on, let me, uh, I can train, let me get Chono, go, and then let me also get my boy here, go, I only have a couple level nines, um, but, <clears throat> pretty sure, pretty sure, uh, look at that, 26 out of 26. Another category done. Look how close we are. We got a little bit left in the cabaret club. We got one more tournament to win there. A handful of sub stories. And then just grinding out points to, to learn the rest of the skills. And then here is just Haruka stuff. So, like, we're really close to 100% completing this thing. Ugh. All right. Bro, coach just went out the window. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway. Um, that's gonna, we're gonna end it there. That's, that's a high note. I, uh, I'm gonna change the, uh, <laughs> the title of the stream once I go offline. Uh, I did not expect to spend three and a half hours, uh, finishing the second half of the, the, the Majima construction story arc. <laughs> that was not planned. Um, but we'll get back at it, uh, next week for sure. Uh, let me think. Uh, Friday, uh, we got Rise of the Ronin. And now Saturday, um, I discovered a game. I discovered a game called... Oh, shit. What's it called? It's called... Uh, Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. Um, it is a steampunk-themed city builder that was developed by a single person. And I checked it out for, like, 15 minutes. And... It was freaking cool. So I think I want to stream that on Saturday. Um, just because it looks really interesting. Uh, so that's, what's, that's what we're going to do Saturday. Um, <clears throat> should be cool. A little bit change of pace, something. But I think, I think it'll be fun uh, to check out something a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> you are the Yakuza Kawabi. <laughs> uh, fresh squeezed. Uh, sounds right. Yeah, yeah, that was the other reason why I was like, this is so, like, on brand for me, being a, a steampunk airship captain, that I was like, I have to stream this game. 
Um, <laughs> so, uh, we'll be doing that on Saturday. Uh, I gotta figure out how to do a thumbnail for it because it's like a, it's like it's kind of an indie. It's like an indie game, city builder game developed by one person, and it's going up against a pair of like juggernauts in the series um, that are getting released soon. Um, so I I want to support it for that reason as well, um, in in as little way as I can. Uh, but yeah, look out look out for that on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> And I don't know how long it'll take. If we don't play it for too long, I'll probably just um, do a BRB for like five minutes and switch over back to Final Fantasy. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll play that one by ear. We'll play that by ear. Um, yeah. And uh, two weekends from now is going to be the reaction stream. So look forward to that as well. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you have uh, a wonderful rest of your evening, uh, rest of your week. Um, Cool to see a new face, uh, Suzuki. Pleasure to, to see you in the chat. Um, yeah, I got links in the description. Uh, I got a Discord if you want to join that. We are a very small community, but we're going to grow slowly but surely. Um, and yeah, look forward look forward to the future. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try to produce that video tomorrow as well um, about the um, that promotion, the, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth director got promoted to an executive level decision, uh, decision position in Square Enix. Um, and there's like a lot of these old school Japanese guys that are kind of like becoming like key C-suite decision makers at the company, which is a really good thing. Very good thing. Um, so we shall see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all I got for you. So um, I'll see you around, chat. Watch is yours. Take care.